Good morning. I need to put on my shorts. This is the worst angle. This is the worst angle in the world. But give me like two seconds to put on my shorts. Okay, but on a serious note, good morning. Um, where do I start? Today is October 12th, aka my 22nd birthday. And um, yeah, it's time to start getting ready. Y'all come along the entire day with me. Um, I honestly don't feel like talking. It is 7 in the morning. As you can see, I just got out of the shower. Hair is still wet. Um, so, yeah, it's currently 9 14, 9 15. And I'm about to um, start drying my hair. I kind of don't want to. I feel like I'm always blow drying my hair. And if your girls don't know, a blow dryer can't give you heat damage. But, like, my roots, my. Y'all can't even really see my curls, but my hair is so healthy. And I've been blow drying it so much. I can literally see how frizzy it is. That's because my ends are dry. And then I put heat on it. Um, Was last week homecoming week? I put heat on it because I blew my hair out and then I wine curled it. And it was so cute. I like you want to insert a picture, but I don't feel like I'm going to insert a picture. But if I remember... You know, the picture can be sitting up here. But it was so cute, y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm about to start blow drying my hair, I guess. <sighs> so that she can braid it. I really wish I had time to let it air dry and then she can braid it. But I don't have that kind of time. I do not. So. I'm looking for one. I don't know the words. I was watching TikTok. This TikTok is funny. Well, the sound, not the... Anyway, let's dry my hair. I wish y'all could see. I wish y'all could see the dance I keep trying to do. Y'all know that one TikTok. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. I don't keep on to listen to that by Kodak, but who listens? My dad's calling me. Who listens to Kodak at 9 in the morning? Hoping you didn't go to work at nine. I was like, yes, yeah, she's. I had to do my homework. I did some of it. I have, we have like a whole a presentation. Long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private tracks, taking trips. Come back at six, wake me and your child. And then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might. 
already but um enough of the talking it's already after one I never told y'all what I was going we gonna get into that when I start doing my makeup but I haven't brushed my teeth or brushed my face yet so we're gonna do that so we can start applying this makeup and I'm gonna get back to y'all it's gonna be like two seconds for y'all but yeah I'm gonna get back to y'all in like five minutes <laughs> y'all was <laughs> I was just coughing Cause I um I, I think I honestly have a little cold. I've been saying I have a sinus infection, but I really think I have a cold. But I was coughing, and my mom will be still on the phone, and she will say, "Ugh, don't talk to him like that." <laughs> I be feeling so embarrassed at work because I be coughing while I be checking people out, and they be like sliding mask up on me and stuff like I have COVID. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what my cough sounds like. But anyways, <laughs> um, I never told y'all what I was going today, what I was doing. I honestly don't know if I told y'all or not. I just finished washing, installing, braiding, all of that stuff to my hair. I'm finally about to put makeup on. I was supposed to leave at 1. It's currently, <laughs> it's currently 1.48. Um, but my date is also not ready. And by date. Um, it is because I'm going on a date for my birthday, which is crazy because a couple of days ago I didn't have plans. And it just so happened I talked to a little friend and boom, I had plans. So, I am getting ready to go on a date. I was supposed to be going to brunch. It's almost 2 o'clock. It's not giving brunch anymore, but we're still getting ready, you know? Like usual, we're going to do this makeup. Um, I'm not going to talk to y'all and do my makeup because I can't multitask. But, you know, tell y'all something y'all don't know. Um, and honestly, I really don't have too much to say. Just wanted to let y'all know what was going on today. Um, I planned on being ready before now. But I kind of knew I wasn't. Because it's me we're talking about. But at the same time, I just wanted today to be more of celebrating and not me getting ready because Lord knows, it seems like I love the mirror so much. I really don't. It's really not that bad on my end. It just looked that bad from the outside looking in. But yeah, I'm trying to think of a topic to talk about. But I honestly don't know. Homecoming week was last week, and it was great. Um, I did enjoy homecoming at a university that isn't that isn't mine. But all of my friends still go there, and I used to go there, and that's why I celebrated this year. Um, I do attend and um a two year college because I don't talk about school at all on here, but I do attend a two year college. Um. I am a two-year freshman. I am still considered a freshman right now. I've only completed a... This will be the second semester of a second full year of school for me because I have taken a year and a semester off of school. But I'm back like I never left. 
And I can honestly say that this time I want to be in school because all the other years I didn't care for it. I got fed up with it after high school and after that one year of being on campus. I was like, ugh, with school, but I kept going because I thought it was what I was supposed to be doing. But you know what? I, I, like, I actually like it now. It's going great. I have a B currently in my class. That's my only class this semester. And it's all because I have one zero. This one zero has me with the B. So hopefully my other assignments keep adding up and I can get back to an A. But yeah, um, I honestly don't know what else to fill y'all in about. Next semester, I will be a full-time student again and I will have four classes. I'm not excited. I'm actually really nervous and scared. I don't want to overwhelm myself, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. What else don't y'all know about? That's really it. Um, I guess we can get into this date, so. <laughs> I'm smiling, but it's not funny. Um, this is actually someone that I've already known from the past. Um, I've never talked to him on this level or like been in any kind of a relationship with him. He was just a good associate. I can even honestly say he was really a friend. He was just someone that I knew in high school. We were both in bands together. And um, I'm not going to get into what instrument, what position, none of that he played. Because if I say it, everybody going to know who it is. And if y'all don't know me well enough yet, I'm very low-key about my life and what I do. So, um, yeah. He's always been a sweet guy. Stuff like that. Um, I'm excited. This is actually my first date ever outside of a relationship. Let me say that. Um, I've only been in three relationships in my entire life. And I've went on dates with those guys. Two out of the three, honestly. The other one I've never been on any kind of date with. And I can honestly say that I dated him the longest, which is crazy. But, but this is my first date outside of any relationship. And I honestly don't know how to feel. Like, I'm happy. This is the first person I'm talking to since my past relationship. And at first, I ain't even gonna lie. I kind of feel kind of guilty about it. But I shouldn't. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, I don't feel guilty. It's just new to me, you know? If that made any sense at all. But I quickly kicked them feelings to the side because I was like, hmm, I'm enjoying myself. This is my life. I make the rules. So that's what I did. And yeah, I honestly don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking to y'all. But I feel like listening to music, my mom is still on the phone over there laughing at me and nothing is funny. <laughs> And I have makeup to do, and it's already almost 2 o'clock, so. Y'all can just watch me do my makeup, honestly. I should have, should I set y'all at a better angle? Because the lighting is not giving. But it's going to do what it do for right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I could tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the when I die, I put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Well, CC, let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money I don't gave. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top, like I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, and these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap like the sauce in a box. I don't want to change because I'm good where I'm at. Mom ties, so I'm always good where I'm at. Word the Junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell them when I die, put my money in a Couple figures kill the skull. Okay, y'all, I'm done getting ready. And... 
this is what the top of my dress looks like my dress is so sleek plain and simple but this is what I look like mm -hmm. this is my dress my hair is finished I literally just have it pulled to the back I just want to give a sleek elegant look and that's exactly what I'm giving. You can literally see my freaking abs through my dress. And I don't think I like that. But what can I do about it? Um, Yeah. And then I'm about to put on some blue heels with this cute blue bag. And yeah. I'm surprising myself right now because I'm the tone boy of my friend group, of my family. Yes, I am extra girly, but I am also a tomboy at heart, and I cannot believe myself. And I did this all by myself. Like, I made myself look like this all on my own? No way. No freaking way. It is currently 3.58, and, um, yeah. Yeah, so, because I was still getting ready. I'm not worried about it at all. He doesn't seem bothered about how long it's taking me to get ready. So, I know at 6, my friend said we were going to karaoke. And, um, it seems like I'm going to go straight from karaoke. I mean, straight from, I guess, dinner now at this point to karaoke. 30 inch bust down. Mm -mm -mm. I think I want to add some color to my makeup. I am wearing a blue bag and shoes. So I just want to add a little bit of it to the look. Because I do have time. I just have a little bit. I added this shimmery blue and it came out cute but it was looking a little white. So then I added this blue on top and it came out so good. Now I'm about to go in with another layer of the shimmer. So adorable. I am not an eye makeup person, so I just be doing what looks nice, honestly. And this has been my go-to. Um, I think I got this from Princess J. She would do this a lot and put like color her in the corners. Sorry for my voice. <clears throat> my allergies are literally are throwing me off. <laughs> Aw, I look like such a sweetheart. Okay, now that I'm off the phone with my mom, I can finally listen to music. I haven't listened to a good song today. And I honestly don't know what I'm going to listen to. I'm going to keep my phone on the charger because he is already on his way. But let's play a good song. Okay, y'all, so I have the shoes on now. This is what they look like. My toes are green. And this is the bag. It's just a simple, cute bag. I look you want to take my own pictures real quick. But that means I would have to, like, set up the camera and stuff. And I don't think I have time. But, yeah. So cute. Just finish. This boy, this boy been waiting on him for three hours. Well, you better learn now. You better learn now than later. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. I literally have one bar left of my battery. It's always something. But I guess that should tell me to keep it short and sweet. Um, it is currently 12-14, August 14th. I said August, October 14th. Wow. And I'm just sitting here doing schoolwork. Um, I have an assignment due later on today, but that is not what we're here to talk about. So, on the 12th, Wednesday, which was my birthday, today is currently Friday, so it's two days later, um, I did a basic get ready with me. Well, I won't say basic because it was my birthday. My 22nd birthday just passed, so I'm now 22 years old. But that Wednesday, there was like a karaoke situation going on. 
on campus and I was supposed to go to that with my friends, but I did not because as y'all already know, I was getting ready for a date. I ended up being asked on a date. <coughs> Only if y'all can hear my cough because I know I'm going to edit it out every time. But um, I was asked on a date. Well, I was, mm, let me see. Let me just give y'all the details. Just, just enough. So, yes, I was, I got a text October 6th about being asked on a date. I didn't reply until that Monday. What was Monday? That Monday was the 10th, and my birthday was the 12th. And so, from that Monday when I saw the text and replied to that Wednesday, my entire birthday was planned for me and I just think that's the cutest thing ever. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so yeah, within no time my entire day was planned for me and it was great. So I really feel like my battery is about to die. It's just flashing and I'm still going. Let me just change it. Let me let me just go ahead and just change this battery. Okay. So yeah, everything was planned for me for my birthday. And it was the sweetest thing ever. So first, I got ready. I saw I got ready. Um, I literally did everything all that day. I woke up at 7 that morning. I wasn't ready until like later on that day, which is great. He had some side things that he had to get done before the date, which was completely fine. And it worked out in my favor because I really wasn't ready until he was ready. Um, and that wasn't around till like five. I think we left at five, which was we were supposed to leave at one. I I did not care at all because I was not ready. And then so we went to dinner and you know, I just had me a nice little salmon. It was so good, y'all. Like it was so good, it looked fake. It was so good. And I had it with some asparagus, my favorite, and potato soup. Like, if you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm putting you on. Um, and so, we were supposed to go and see a movie right after that, but the movie, the time that we had chose to see the movie, it was packed to capacity. Like, if we would have went right after dinner as planned, we wouldn't have been able to sit together because it was like opposite seats and crazy stuff. So instead, we booked to see the next movie, which was like around like nine. The movie ended up being two hours long. I didn't notice until we were out of the movie theater that we came in at 9 and left at 11. No way. But the movie was that good, though. But in between um, dinner and waiting for our movie to start, we ended up going to the arcade. I don't know if everybody thinks it's, like, the 19th century or whatever. Like, girls like to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but like honestly, like most guys will probably think like, nah, I'm not gonna take her to the arcade. She doesn't want to do that. Yes, I do, and I'm gonna beat you in every game. I, you know, I, I kind of lost a few times, but um, you know, it was cool. It was fun. Like I had a great time. I like how he didn't try to go easy on me just because I'm a girl. Like it wasn't no like I let her win type situation. I'm completely fine with that. You know, but next time. I'm going to be prepared. I won't have on heels. I won't have on a dress. I'll be ready. Um, and yeah, we, just had, we really had a great time. And we saw the movie. The, it was a scary movie at that. Like, I live for horror films. And when I tell you, like, I'm the kind of person, you watch a scary movie, in the back of my head, I'm like, Dang, that was so graphic, but I know it's fake. So it's like, it's scary, but it's like, I know it's fake. This movie had everybody in the theater on edge. And it seems like everybody in the theater at the time, like we were all around the same age group, which is great because we didn't have anybody immature, anything like that. Like, it was just great. Like, the vibes were vibing, you know? And, um... Yeah, it was funny watching him scream a couple of times, so I know you're watching this. And I just exposed you for screaming during the movie. He definitely screamed more than me, but you know, it was funny. I enjoyed it. 
But the movie was that good. Like, it was really that scary. Um, if you haven't seen Smile, you should go and see it. But yeah, like, that was really my night. Um, even after the movie, we ended up staying together for hours just talking about anything you could possibly think of, which was great because he is someone from my past, not someone that I dated or anything like that in my past, not even someone I would really consider a friend. Um, we went to high school together and I knew of him, but I couldn't really tell you that like I knew who he was as a person, but I can definitely say that now all from one day being spent together and that is like the greatest thing to me and it was just really good like I've been on dates with people that I was in a relationship with I've never been on a date just to go on a date like just to say like I'm in that dating phase in my life and for him to be my first date because I don't consider like yeah I've been on dates but I don't consider me being in a relationship calling that like you know like a dating phase because i'm in a relationship that's what you're supposed to do you know so for him to be my first date it was so great like he set the bar he really set the bar which is amazing because my father already did that and you know from what i was taught he did everything he was supposed to do and that's just such a great thing like you can't go wrong with that but I really had a great time. I didn't want to leave y'all on a cliffhanger like, oh, she got ready. She looking all good. And then she, we don't even know what happened. Like, now nah, I wasn't going to shove a camera in his face. It just so happened that he does support the fact that I have a channel. But I didn't know that at the time. So I can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm vlogging our whole experience of us first meeting one another, you know? Like, that was my, I just told y'all, that was my first date. And that was my first time talking to this guy. I'm not even gonna say since high school because I barely talked to him in high school. Like, like I didn't really talk to him that that much. I didn't really know him that well back then. So yeah, I, I really just couldn't bring y'all along. But maybe next time, like, because he's already told me that there's gonna be a next time. So maybe on this next date, y'all will get a chance to come along. Um, I hope that y'all enjoyed my birthday just as much as me. And that's really all I have to say. Like I said before, I hope y'all enjoyed just as much as I enjoyed such a day, such a time. I'm happy that I was able to share and create a video for y'all this year. And yeah, I guess I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.